Hey everyone, this is Brett and Jeff from Source Audio, and we would like to show you the brand new SoundBlocks Hub Manager. This is a piece of software that lets you connect to your hub over USB, and in turn connect to all the pedals that are connected to the hub. When you start the software, it takes a look on the USB on your computer and checks to see if the hub is connected. So in this case, I do have a hub connected. The computer sees it and then it goes and it asks the hub what pedals are connected to you. And in this case, on my pedal board, I have four pedals. I have the, they're all SoundBlocks 2 pedals. I have the OFD, uh, Overdrive Fuzz Distortion, the Orbital Modulator, the Manta Filter, and the Dimension Reverb. So I have all four of those pedals. And I can go down below to uh, the Scene Viewer, and this is where I can take those pedals and combine them into effects scenes, as we call them. They're combinations of effects, so you might have more than one pedal turned on at any given time, and you can set up different effects configuration for those pedals and then save them. And actually, uh, we have gone through already on this hub and created quite a number of scenes as you can see here in the scene list. You can store a total of 128 at any given time, so from 0 to uh, 127 here. We have about 50 of them, maybe 40 uh, in the list right now. Um, so we'll just show you how to use the software, make your own scene, change pedal settings, all that fun stuff. So the first thing that you would do if you were starting from scratch is to click the Make Blank Scene button here at the bottom. And it turns out that I already have a blank scene, but if I was working on something else, clicking the Make Blank Scene button would just open up a new blank scene for me. And I can add a pedal to the scene. What is a pedal that I would like to use in this scene? Uh, there are two ways that I can do that. I can click the Add New Pedal button, and I can choose from the list. Or I can just go up to my board and pick a pedal that's already connected and drag that down into the scene. So I'll do that. I will take my OFD guitar micro modeler pedal, bring that in, and you can see when I bring it in, it pops up this pedal parameter editor. Now this is the, the main area where you'll be able to do your work in the hub manager setting up the sounds how you like them. So this interface that you can see on the window is just like the actual interface on the pedal. There's one knob in the center, which is the main effect selector knob, and I can click that and drag it to select between the different effect settings. And then below that, I have six uh, knobs that control the different parameters of this effect. So the drive, and the output level, and the EQ. These settings can be controlled graphically by dragging the knob, and then when you get a sound you like, you just click save and close, and you're done and you can save your scene. So, rather than start from scratch, let's take a look at some of the sounds that we've already made and have stored into this hub. So, uh, for now, I'll just uh, get rid of the scene that I was working on and click on my scene list and uh, I can pick a new scene to work from. So, let's just start with the bypass setting. I'll click that. It asked me if I want to save the scene that I was working on and uh, I don't mind getting rid of this one, so I'll continue without preserving changes. Okay, and there we go. So I've clicked the bypass scene. I actually heard on my pedal board, I heard the relay switch to set all of the pedals into bypass mode, and we are good to go. So uh, no effects in this setting, but you can just hear what the guitar and amp sound like. <laughs> Okay, so that's the basic unaffected sound. Now let's go through the scene list and find an effects combination that we've already set up. Number two looks good, Reggae Phaser. Try that out. Okay, thanks Jeff, that sounded pretty good. There are a few things that I want to change. Uh, the speed of the phaser was a little bit faster than I'd like it to be. So I want to go ahead and change the speed setting, maybe take a look at some other settings, see if I can get a different sound out of this. There are two ways that I could do this. The first way is the traditional way. You can just reach right down to your pedal, 
grab the knobs, turn them around, get the sound you like, and press the uh, save button on the hub, and it's done. Um, the hub manager lets you do this a different way, and that is by doing it graphically on the screen. So I can click on the phaser pedal and edit pedal settings and open up this window to edit the parameters sort of visually on screen. So you can see here are all the parameter settings in that effect that you just heard from Jeff. Uh, we have a four stage phaser and the, the depth is at like uh, four o'clock and the speed is at one o'clock, right? So here are all the different settings and I can change them really simply just by clicking and dragging on the knob. And as I'm doing that, it's actually sending that information over USB to the pedal. It is updating that parameter in real time, and you will be able to hear that as you play. So let's try uh, changing the speed knob a little bit while Jeff is playing. <laughs> I like this setting. Uh, I will save this and move on. So I just click the save and close button and it will save that to the pedal. This little asterisk tells me that I have changed the scene. So if I want to save the scene in the hub, I'll just click the save scene button and I'm done. Now let's say I want to add another pedal to this scene. And in fact, I think it could actually use a little spring reverb. So in that case, I want to activate the Dimension Reverb and add that to the scene. So I can click on the Dimension Reverb here, edit the pedal settings, and when I go in, it tells me the pedal is bypassed. I could click that button to engage it, but uh, all the settings are just at their defaults. So there's not really much of an effect here. Uh, so, you know, I could click on one of the spring reverbs and then go through and start changing knobs and try to get something the way that I like it. Of course, Source Audio is trying to save you some time. <laughs> we sent you the hub manager with a bunch of presets for all the pedals. So we've gone through, uh, come up with sounds that we like and we think are useful, and we've put them in this little preset list. Uh, so you can see here, um, I have classic amp spring reverb. And there we go. It's my classic amp spring reverb. You can see all these settings that we have done in advance for you. And this will just get you a basic kind of spring reverb sound. That sounds good, I'll keep it. So I'll just click the save and close button. Now you can see in my scene we have the orbital in the four stage phaser mode. We have the dimension reverb in the spring two mode and I will click save. And now that scene is good to go. You know, I like this scene so much I think I wanna share it with my friends. And luckily with the Soundblocks Hub Manager that is pretty easy. We have a button up here called export scene. And when you click on this button, it will allow you to uh, create a file on your computer give it a name, so I'll just call that uh, Phaser Spring. Simple enough, hit the Save button, and now I have a file on my computer, which you can see right here, Phaser Spring, that's the one that I just created, and I can share this with my friends, I can post it on a forum on the internet, um, I can put it in a folder on my computer and use it later, and uh, actually if you have a long set list and you're in a band and you have different settings for all of your songs, you could save all of those settings and then when you, when you have a gig, you could fill up the scene list in your hub with all of the different settings for your different songs. So it's a really practical and simple way of organizing all of these different effects and settings into a pretty manageable organization system on your computer. So uh, this really gives you the power and flexibility of a multi-effects system, but the great thing is that you're still working with individual effects pedals. You still have physical knobs that you can reach down and touch, and you can turn any of these pedals on and off at any time with the foot switches. So it's really the best of both worlds. So that's the Soundblocks Hub and Soundblocks Hub Manager. If you want more information, just go to our website. It's www.sourceaudio.net.